Well, Crackergate has certainly been something of an education. It's clearly and comprehensively exposed the seamy underside of peace-loving, cheek-turning Christianity for what it really is. Within the religious mind, within the heart of every religious person, is a fanatic screaming to get out. And it only requires the right set of circumstances for that zealot to make their debut. Clearly, host desecration is a threshold for Catholics. And yet, to be fair, the Catholic Church is not the worst religious institution on the planet. Quite secular in outlook, with their own uh, special cohort of science priests. They are quite respectful of science. They've got no argument with evolution or, or really any of the major theories that make up the superstructure of scientific thought. And yet even here, the madness and the lunacy is lurking just below the surface. Secularized religions, like Catholicism, remind me of a pool in the Amazon rainforest. Surface undisturbed, water clear perhaps. Looks pretty inviting, maybe. And yet if you throw in a piece of red meat, suddenly and unaccountably the water begins to boil as creatures unexpected surge up from the depths to tear the meat to pieces. And this is not a bad analogy. It's a bit ham-fisted, I suppose, but religion is like a virus. With all the genetic machinery to completely destroy its host, and yet perhaps remaining dormant for years or even decades, until the right set of circumstances emerge, and suddenly the full-blown version of the disease kicks into action. Crackergate just reminds us of this. Only the religious mind could allow one to come to the conclusion that the fate of a cracker was more important than the fate of actual human beings. What has been particularly clear is the downright jihad envy expressed by Catholics when thinking about this issue. There is a kind of an envy of the willingness of Muslims to engage in in all kinds of violence and to kill themselves or blow themselves up or blow other people up. Bill Donahue made the point that he could think of nothing more vile than desecrating the Eucharist. And uh, to that I say, good grief, Bill. What a lack of imagination. Uh, I'm not chasing you. I'm out here just to wrap up this video with the, uh, to make the point that I have put up a poll to see how people think atheists ought to react to this thing. Should we actively desecrate hosts as a protest, or what precisely ought we to do? Get out of that tree!